rehabilitation of the ankle joint has got to be performed for not only the mortis joint of the ankle, tibia, fibia, but also for the tarsal bones in the foot. Initially, the patient has to polish the ankle joints by sitting and very light ABCs. Running through the ABCs several times a day is very important. The patient can do these things to pain tolerance, starting out with very short polishing motion. And as the pain decreases, improve the motion, getting the toes involved, writing all the letters of the alphabet as big as they can. Once the patient has the joint warmed up, the joints hydrolyzed, the scar tissue broken up, we need to work the ankle joint in eversion, inversion, dorsiflexion, and also plantar flexion. The patient will perform a stretch by putting the feet together, hands on a wall, placing a foot up against the wall, locking the knees back, laying the head forward to create the stretch on the ankle, putting the feet together, placing the other foot forward, locking the knees back, and stretching out the ankle the other way. Then flexion, putting the feet together and doing some plantar flexion, toe raises. If the patient is strong enough, they need to take the toes of their good foot and put that under the back of the heel of the bad ankle and help lift with the toes to create the strength. Remember, comfortable position, comfortable range of motion, Adjust the tube or the tension of the body weight by using two feet or one foot, doing it till it feels good, and then stop. Next, take a piece of tubing, put the knots completely through the back of the door, just one to two inches up, floor level. The patient will then come and put the big toe right? Grab the tubing with all the toes. Place the heel a little closer. Place the heel on the outside and on the ground using the opposite foot as a pivot. Then the patient will work the ankle in and out, not moving the knee, working the ankle as much as they can. Inversion, 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 inversion inversion, inversion, inversion. Then the patient will turn completely around, place the tubing outside the little toe, up by the fifth metatarsal, use the other foot as a pivot, like this, and again, eversion. The knee cannot move. Lock the knee, forcing all the action through the ankle, adjusting the tube tension by getting closer or further away from the door. The last maneuver is to step away from the door, placing the tube, step away from the door. Let's use the other foot. Placing the tube around the toe box, dorsiflexing the toes, adjusting the tube tension, by how far away you get from the door. You need to get further away. Put your other hand up here. Now come up here. There you go. Can you see that? All right. Now, dorsiflexing by just pulling the toes up, up, up. This maneuver is actually performed easier. The further away from the door you are, actually becomes easier to perform. You see that now? I can see that good. Knees together, foot back, knee bent. 
Do you want him at a little bit more of an angle? Uh, I can see it okay. Did you say how many times they, they do this or how long? Or is These exercises should be in a comfortable position, comfortable tube or short range of motion, comfortable tube tension until it feels better. There is no number in rehab. And that concludes ankle rehab.